the day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're talking trapping baskets, ways to carry your gear around on the trap line. Now, I don't know about you, uh, but I love these traps. I love them in the shed. I love what they look like. I don't love them out on the line. And we'll tell you all about that in just a minute. Listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the MB Wildman channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell so that you get notified when we upload new content. Wouldn't want you to miss any videos. Uh, as always, we're looking for questions, comments, you know, feedback you might have about what you use to carry your stuff out on the line. Uh, I certainly don't have it all right, and I don't uh, confess to be the expert on these things. Just sharing uh, what I do, you know, with you out there. Uh, also, have some new, uh, new t-shirts. If you're interested, we've got some merchandise up. Uh, check the link down below. I'll pin it in the comments. Uh, some Envy Wildman merchandise. If you uh, want to go ahead and uh, wear some of the Envy Wildman gear, that'd be great. So anyway, let's talk about how you carry your gear out on the line. And we'll do it real quick. I'll go through a couple of quick things and I'll show you what I do. Um, again, it's, it's, it's up to each individual. Trappers are very, uh, we're a very specific bunch and we all have the things that we like and don't like to do. But this basket, uh, very nice, uh, brand new as you can tell because it's more of a decorative piece for me. Uh, it was a gift and I really, really like it. It's uh, handmade. Um, by a gentleman in uh, New England, uh, in Maine, and I uh, got this basket, I believe my wife purchased it for me for Christmas one year, uh, a few years back. Uh, really nice, but I really wouldn't ever consider using this out on the line, and I know a lot of people probably do, and they probably love these baskets, and a lot of the old timers, you know, used to make their own, or they used to have their own. Um, I just, I'm too hard on gear. Uh, this is, this is, you know, this is wood, and this is wicker, and it's really great, um, and I'm sure it would be super light to carry around, but I'm just really hard on gear. I'm used to throwing stuff in the back of the truck, firing it on the bike, getting down in the mud, in the muck, in the culvert, you know. I, I just, I would destroy this basket, which is why, as you can see, it's in great shape because I've never had it out of the house that I'm aware of. So, um, for me, this is an ideal. You know, and a lot of guys, uh, you, a lot of guys trap off the bike. I know I do. I trap a lot off the four wheeler. I trap right off the back of the truck. I am not a guy that puts the pack on and hikes and hikes and hikes and has this big long line that I walk through. Uh, I'm just, I'm just too, I don't want to seem too lazy for that, but uh, that just doesn't work for me, right? So I trap mostly right out of the back of the truck or off the bike. Now, a lot of guys will just strap some milk crates onto their bike. And they carry their stuff right here. Then they hop off the bike and they grab their milk crates and away they go. Uh, and if that works for you, that's great. So now I'm going to show you what I use uh, out on the line and it's not a great big secret and it's not overly complex. I'm sure a lot of you guys do this already, but I just thought I'd share the old classic five gallon bucket. All right. This is what I use almost exclusively when I jump out of the truck or when I jump off the bike. This is what I use. Now, obviously, I didn't make this video to show you a five gallon pail. Uh, what I also do is I went to Home Depot and I buy these at Home Depot or you can get them in different places. This is called a bucket buddy. Uh, this one's a Husky brand because it's Home Depot and I'm not advertising Home Depot. It's just the one I have. Okay. Uh, I like it a lot because the, uh, the Husky logo is, is a lot like my Miami logo. So I use them. Uh, I'd like to say it's the same, but it's not. So anyway, these, uh, these go inside a five gallon bucket and they are just full of pouches and pockets, all different sizes, right? It's just ideal for lures, pliers, anything you need. And it also has, it also has slots on the inside. Right, so when you slide it down over the pail, you've got, you got stuff on the inside and the outside. It's about 17 bucks. Uh, so at today's exchange rate, $17 Canadian would be about 55 cents US is what it feels like. It's really not true. It's probably about 12 bucks or 11 bucks, but uh, it feels like the exchange rate's a killer. Uh, anyway, so this is what it looks like. Uh, this is, I guess, sort of what they advertise it can be. And you can see all the different tools and things they've got in the bucket. Right, so I use this. Um, Here's one of mine. Uh, I've got it kind of loaded up, started to load up for some things. I don't have any lures in it yet, but it just fits around the bucket just great. I've got all my pockets and all my pouches uh, inside it. Uh, you can see I've got some pliers and some wire and some things all stuck around, um, some pegs. I mean, it's whatever you want, but there are, I'll bet if there's one, there's 30 places to store a different lure, a different pair of pliers, a cutting tool, whatever it is that you use. You know, if you're running a canine line, you know, you can have, I have a bucket 
I have one bucket that's for land and one bucket that's for water, just depending on the different sets that I'm running, you know, and if I'm gonna jump out, I'll fire, you know, you can fire half a dozen leg traps in there and jump out and do a bunch of uh, pipe sets or whatever you wanna do. And uh, they work really, really well for that. So and the other bonus to them is that I do trap off the bike a fair bit and I do strap a couple of milk crates uh, front and back on the racks of the four wheeler. And these buckets, even with the bucket buddy on them, right? These will just set right down, set right down into the milk crate. So that's good and secure on the bike. And I jump off the bike, grab it out, and away I go down, make my set or whatever, you know, if, or I just take my stuff out of it, depending on what it is. But this makes sure I can keep it on the four wheel without it, you know, falling off or going anywhere. So anyway, just a quick video. I wanted to share with you the bucket buddy, okay? Uh, if you haven't got one of these, I'm assuming they got them all over. I've never seen them at Lowe's in the States. But I get mine, like I say, at Home Depot, and uh, they're not expensive. If you haven't yet tried the old Bucket Buddy on your line, it's time that you do. Trust me on that one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this video helps you out. There's a little trick or tip you can use out, in, out on your line. And uh, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.